What is going on everybody? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Emmanuel. This is Abalang Outdoors. Today we're out here getting ready to get some live baits and we're gonna head offshore. Just chasing some pelagics, whatever bites. So we'll see what happens. It's a beautiful day. Today's definitely the day to do it. We're gonna get out there. We're taking you guys with us. Do not go anywhere. Loaded. All right guys, we got the bait heading offshore. It is a beautiful day. Hoping it's this nice out there. Either way, we're fishing. All right, guys, we just got out here. We're in 250 feet of water. It was actually pretty rough on the way out. The weatherman lied. But we got out here, our live bait is still alive. We're gonna set up in about 130 feet. Start doing some drifts. Fingers crossed we catch some fish. We'll take you guys with us. All right, guys, take your live bait. Take your circle hook right through that soft cartilage part in the nose. Just like that. Gonna take them. Slip them out there. All right guys, first fish of the morning. Literally five minutes with baits in the water. Khalif has a nice fish on. Keep doing what you're doing. Yes, sir. This is what we came out here for. Don't want to lose him. All right. Wow. All right, there we go. I'm putting a little pressure on him now. Don't go slack on him at all. That might be a king. If you have to bring him around the other side of the boat, that's gonna be easy for you, do that. Oh, great job, cuz, great job. He's swimming up now. What is going on? <laughs> Happy birthday, you. man. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Kai. Guys, Khalif's birthday was one day ago. Saw the Whoa. weather was good. Hit him up get to get out here. Away. We got Khalif on his birthday fish right here. Happy birthday, man. You're good. He, you're good, bro. He's not going nowhere. Woo! Cuz, look. No. What just happened? What was that? Bro. Look, start tightening the drag little by little. That might be a shark, bro. He got hit by a shark. He probably got <laughs> it's like you keep getting slack and then coming back up. It's he either a bonita or a black fin tuna. He's definitely tired now. First drift of the morning. Yeah, no worries, no worries. Just take it real easy, we're at the last stretch. Oh, there he goes right here. What is that? Okay. Nice drift. Also, Bonita. Oh, Bonita? Yeah. Hold it, hold it by the, hold it by the bunch. <laughs> He fought hard. He fought hard, man. Yeah. He fought hard. Wow. Oh, go, go, go down. Go ahead. I'm good over here, guys. Tight. Oh, see, this is the dangerous part. I told you that you gotta be so careful when you have multiple rods out. Oh. Just get yours in the boat at, when you can. All right, Ben. Don't even gap them. Just flip them in. Oh my God. Get ready to help me out. Woo hoo! All right, guys. Well, at least we got some big strip patrols doing the troll. Fish number two coming in now. Oh, that's a huge. This is a bonita too. If you feel that, that's what it felt like. That's what it was. That tail beat. Yeah. That's a bonita. No, 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 no. You're not gonna start flapping right now. Oh, you gotta be good. Yeah. 
Just bringing them. <laughs> Just bringing them. Let's go, baby. <laughs> Let's get him on. At first, I thought he was the king for some reason. Yeah, the way he was running, set, if you if you give Bonitos too much drag, they'll make a take fool it. out of you, bro. Yeah. <laughs> I try not to gap these things because they're so bloody. He's right here. Oh, there you go. Double up on some bonitas. Gonna go ahead and get some baits back in the water. Very fun fighting fish, but not what we're looking for. So we're gonna get some baits back in the water, see if we can't get some more. King. King. King, dog. I just got I just got broke off by a king. That's a king all day. We both just got broke off by kings. Not a problem. I have some wire rig. <laughs> So we're gonna go ahead, drift that again, put out some wire, and we'll handle that very quickly. There you go, guys. Literally four inches of wire, 5 0 hook, tiny little swivel, tie it onto your fluoro or your mono, get that bait back out there. Lock it, bro, lock it. I just lost mine. <laughs> You're yanking them? I'm just, I'm just, I'm just reeling. Good. Do you feel a tail beat still? Nah, I, don't, I, think, I think it's a key. I think it's a key. The way that runs just quick. Dude, he ate my bait, let go of it, and ate yours. Come around the other side of the boat, cuz. This way? Yeah. Think so? Do you feel it? Some, some shake. That's a king. That's a, kingy. That's a king. Don't worry. Just keep them tight. Throw right there and just keep working them to the surface and I'll stick them. I got you. No worries. Just keep the, the rod. Keep the rod tip high. Keep it high. Get in another crank. He's coming. He's coming. He's coming. I'm gonna stick him. Oh, whoo! He's not happy. He is not happy. That's a big king. Oh my god. Oh, missed him. No! No! Is it, it floating? It's it floating. Floats. You got it, it. You got it. You can get it. You got it. You got it. Just get it. Go ahead. Get it. Go ahead. Oh my gosh, guys. The gaff fell. Hold up. Good shot. Good shot. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. Guys, look. Yes, sir. I will definitely admit, I suck at gaffing fish. <laughs> I'll admit that. Perfect. Nice little kingfish in the pool. Not even a little one. Nice one. Nice, Kingy. Look at that. Look how he got hooked, guys. Look how he got hooked. Did a circle around his lip. Wire got caught right up in there. Holy crap. Look at that. Look how he was hooked. That's crazy. Easy rip out. Look at that. Came right out. Hold that thing up. Happy birthday, man. <laughs> got him on. Got him. Got him. Pretty work. 
All right, guys, we just got back to the boat ramp. Had an absolute freak accident happen offshore, but thank God we're in now. Got that kingfish, got those bonitas. We're gonna go home, cook them up, and we'll see you guys in the kitchen. We're gonna clean this fish up, take our knife right under the peck fin, cut down into the stomach. Then we're gonna take our knife and run up into the fish's head. Once you run it up into the fish's head, let's start right here and just work your way down the whole fish all the way along the dorsal fin. Take your knife once you get down to the end, just push through. Now that you have a long cut right here, just take your knife, you're gonna angle your knife down towards the backbone, just like that. And just take your time and start cutting the filet away from the body. You wanna cut down over that big backbone there. Cut over that rib cage. And same thing all the way down the fish. Got a little bit of the ribs in there. Don't need those. Whew. There we go. So we got the side knocked off of him. And we have a chunky filet right here. And as kingfish, it's really easy to rip through their skin. So when you are cutting, just take your time and you don't wanna press all the way down against the skin. You can keep your knife right above the skin just to avoid cutting through the skin and making a mess. Take your knife. Hold here at the back. You just push your knife forward, it's that simple. Like I said, you don't need to go all the way down against the skin, just to avoid cutting through the real soft skin. Now you're gonna feel for your pin bones. These travel pretty far down in the filet. Just take your knife, cut down into the filet on both sides of the pin bones. Just like that. I'm just gonna cut it out. Just like that. Now you're left with a nice slab of kingfish right there. All right guys, change of scenery. We are at Ivan's. It's got him here. We're getting ready to smoke this kingfish. So walk us through the steps, bro. First, gonna kind of wing it. Do a really, really quick brine, probably 30 minutes tops. Just get a bunch of salt in there. I'm gonna put some brown sugar in there as well and just throw on the smoker at 180 for an hour, hour and a half maybe. Let's see what happens. It can't be bad, right? <laughs> just salt and brown sugar, mix it up. Helps dry out the fish, gives it a little flavor, a little color. Just mix it all up together and just literally just gonna let it sit, pull some of that moisture out. And that's it. Hit the smoker in about 20, 30 minutes. Whew. All right, guys, we got the smoker set to 180. Once that fish is done brining, we'll get it in the smoker and then we'll continue to walk it through the process. All right, guys, we just took this fish out of the brine. There it is. You want to make sure that you wash off the brown sugar and the salt. You do not want to put it in the smoker with all of that on there. So we just washed it off, gave it a little bit of color and dried out that kingfish. Now we're going to go ahead, put it in the smoker. We're gonna give that anywhere between an hour to two hours and then we'll be right back with you guys. All right guys, it has been two hours now. And there we go. Ten foil doesn't get hot. Bro, I know, but you never know. It actually looks like it took a good amount of smoke to be honest. Yeah. Wow, it's firm. It is real firm. Think I should eat a piece? Try it, maybe. I it can't be horrible. It I can feel only like, be bad. All right, let's try it. Oh, oh nice. look at that. Wow. Salty? Very, very fishy. Fishy? Yeah. Really? Try Fish. it. Bro, I do not want to try that, but I appreciate the offer. <laughs> Oh, 
All right, and with the red bell pepper and the onions, we'll see if it fits. And then from there, we'll probably make, split it up so we could put in the wet ingredients. All right, guys, so with this, everything's kind of just eyeballed. There's no recipes. If you're you know, really in the kitchen, you kind of know that. So just do your best. It all depends on how much fish you've got. So probably about a cup or a little more of mayonnaise. Um, I really like to put cream cheese in mine. I think it makes it pretty smooth. So that's eight ounces. That's probably about that the only thing. A lot of cream cheese, man. No <laughs> you don't even taste it. And then just put in half a lemon. Very juicy lemon. <laughs> put in a little bit of Dijon mustard. Not much at all. And then a little bit of that sour stuff. This is just a little bit. It helps add some acidity. Adds a little bit of flavor. You do not want a lot. About that much. <laughs> <laughs> Kind of liquidy, it but it'll you know how it fish yeah. tip is, it always loses all its moisture. So then we'll go in about that much, that much. <laughs> <laughs> and just blend it. <laughs> and that is how you make fish tip in 30 seconds. What you got going on there, man? It's not salty. It's just like good fish dip. It looks like lobster dip. That's very good. And honestly, the bell pepper adds a very good flavor to it. All right, guys, so we're gonna get this in the fridge, let it cool down a little bit, and it will become a little less watery. But there you go. Kingfish fish dip. We've done the right way this time. Yeah, that was definitely good. The last time I made it, it was very salty and very watery. All right, guys, there you have it. Kingfish fish dip. I'm sorry the offshore portion of this video got cut, but we had to run in. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Make sure you smash that like button. Leave a 